You're first going to need a handkerchief or what we call a silk. I'm happen to be using silk and it happens to be uh, advantageous if your handkerchief or silk is somewhat slippery like a polyester uh, rayon type of handkerchief. Second of all is a piece of paper. I think you could use a napkin or a piece of cloth but I think the paper uh, helps to reduce the friction and make this trick work a little better. You need a jar and you need a rubber band. So here's how you do this. You can do this two ways. You could set the thing up ahead of time and then just have the jar, the jar filled with the handkerchief with the paper on top and sealed with the rubber band. Or you can set this right up in front of spectators, which is what I'm going to do for you here. Of course, I will be explaining what I do. First, bring out your jar. Bring in your handkerchief. Now, here's a little crucial part here. You're going to stuff the handkerchief into the jar. Now, the key thing is there's one corner of the handkerchief and you have to be able to track that and find it. So place the handkerchief in, but make sure you know where the corner is because that's going to be crucial. You bring in the paper. So now let me give you the magician's view of what's going on. It looks as if all you're doing is taking the paper and placing it on top. But the key thing is you have to take the handkerchief here, this corner that we talked about, and place it on the outside like this and then cover it with the paper. So you have a corner of your handkerchief emerging from the side. And that's the secret to the trick. From this side, spectators can't th see anything. But from your side, you have this little bit of handkerchief hanging out. Now you just take the rubber band and seal up the jar. And that is sealed in there. Now in order to make the escape, all you have to do is pull this and the handkerchief will just come out. So from this end, I just counted one, two, three, grab this with your fingers and pull and the handkerchief comes right out. You can hand this out. Spectators can look at it. It is sealed paper. Everything is what it is. All you're going to need for this trick, you'll need a length of rope and you'll need a handkerchief. Anyway, the first part involves the setup and I want to give you more of a close-up view so let's go to the close-up to explain the setup of the handkerchief and the rope. Here's how you tie the rope and the handkerchief. Now what you're going to do is fold your rope in half. Now bend this over just like this and then take so it looks like this. Now take these two ends and bend them forward. And that's what you want for your trick. Take your handkerchief and now you have these two loops here. Feed your handkerchief through the loops and tie a very loose knot. Don't, don't tie it real tight. Now you can pull the rope and your knot is free to move on the rope, which is uh, the first phase of the trick. But now for the second phase, which is really the cool part, what you have to do is look at your handkerchief. Look for the place where there's an actual knot. I don't know if you'll be able to see this real easily, but right there is where the knot is. And so you grab the knot and then when you pull that away and what's really cool is that the uh, handkerchief is still knotted. Anyway, by following the video with the close-up, you should be able to slide the handkerchief back and forth and then 
eventually pull it off. Now something that uh, I didn't show you in the close-up video is that I have a fairly long length of rope here. And what I did in the performance is I actually stepped on the length of rope down here. And then this makes for a nice uh, way to present the trick where you're sliding the uh, handkerchief back and forth and then doing the the pass through at the end. And what's really cool about this trick is that the handkerchief is still knotted at the end. And of course, it's all in the setup. There's no real secret, nothing is gaffed, or there's no secret other than the setup. So by the time the spectators uh, take a look at your, uh, at your uh, setup, or at your handkerchief, as well as your rope, there will be nothing to find. So anyway, that is passing a handkerchief through a rope. Hope you have fun with that. Please give us a like and please subscribe for more tricks in the future. Please uh, comment below if you have any questions and uh, as well as let us know if there's any tricks that you would like us to teach. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.